Hey everybody, I know this video has been a long time coming, but um, finally we are going to do a little demonstration of the Bluetooth tap shoes that we've been working on for the last semester. Now, um, right off the bat, I need to make it clear this is a team effort, so um, my teammates Patrick and Joe have put in a lot of hard work on this project as well, so I want to make sure to give them the credit uh, too, but they were okay with me making this video, so I thought I'd just give you a brief demonstration and explanation of what's going on at this point. Now, we have another semester to work on the shoes, so this is by no means the final product, and it's not performing quite the way that we want it to, but um, it's getting pretty close. So, as you can see, you just have a regular sneaker here, and this system is designed to work with any shoe. And um, in the sneaker, there is or on the sneaker, I should say, there's a pouch of electronics sewn by my lovely wife. And inside this pouch, there's a 9-volt battery connection, an Arduino Mini Pro, um, a 3-axis accelerometer, as well as a Bluetooth chip. And then on the inside of the shoe, there are insoles that have two force-sensing resistors, one for the toe and one for the heel. And so those are connected um, by this ribbon wire to the pouch. And so the pressure data sent by the, the FSRs, or force sensing resistors, are sent to a Bluetooth connection, and right now we're using pure data to, um, you know, make significantly interpret the, the data. So um, it works on any surface, you know, hard or soft, and um, we gave a demonstration of this at the Science Center here in Wichita called the Exploration Place. And it seemed to go pretty well. You know, the pairing and all of that is very solid, and it works well with uh, Serato um, sending MIDI messages from pure data and um, triggering sound samples and so forth. So let's do a quick demonstration. So for a quick demonstration of the Bluetooth tap shoes here, um, as you can see, I'm wearing both of them now. And we're getting it to where they don't trigger when we don't want them to. But sometimes there are some kind of loose triggers that we're still working on the programming aspect of it. But um, as far as Bluetooth connection, it's paired very well. And um, they seem to be getting pretty responsive. So uh, right toe, right heel. Make sure this is turned up. Left toe. left heel. So for shuffles, pretty proud of that. change sound samples from, um, you know, to anything we want, really. So just some corny stuff we have right on there right now. 